Right, having another van day today. Air fever is playing up again as well. It's not very warm outside. Um, so I'm going to go out and have a more or less a full day today and see what I can get done. I haven't done anything for a couple of days really because I've been doing a lot of research um, on the alternator um, and I've still not got to the bottom of it so I've decided to go with a battery to battery charger. Um, that'll eliminate everything because uh, these things are pretty smart and they know which alternator you've got on them. So I um, spent the biggest part of yesterday travelling around in the van, went over to see somebody to test it, get it all tested and he still didn't know whether or not it was a smart alternator. I mean the word smart alternator is just a hybrid name, it's not really called a smart alternator but it does um, mess about with the, the, the engine, uh, sorry, the um, the power um, from the battery. So I don't want to take any chances and fry any wires or anything so like I said, I'm going to go for the battery to battery charger. We had some rain the last couple of days so I wanted to, um, because I fitted Unistro on the roof which I'm using for the roof racks, I put rib nuts in the top and bolted it down from the top and I suspected at the time that if it rained somehow the rain is going to find its way through the thread and into the van and I was correct um, so I did that on two of the bolts so what I did yesterday and I'll show you when I go in the van I, um, I took all the bolts out and I just I just flooded the holes with silicone and, and screwed them back in and it's rained again since and there's been no problem so there's nothing leaking the Max Air fan looks like it's fine. Um, like I say, we haven't had rain for four weeks, so I didn't really know without squirting a lot of water on the top, but there you go. So, just waiting for my espresso, my lovely little helper, out of sight, making my espresso, and then she's off to work, so. So I've got a full day in the van. I've ordered quite a few things as well, she'll start dribbling through, but I, I've got things to do. I've got the gas tank to fit, I've got water tanks which haven't arrived yet. And um, I did pick up some uh, insulation yesterday and got some more battens for the roof. So I'm going to finish the roofing battens and I'm going to. Oh, thank you. Well, the espresso. Oh, look at that. Can't have so much more than that, can you? Coffee on tap. <laughs> so, yeah, when we get out there, I'll show you what I meant about the, um, the bolts from the, uh, the uni strut. And uh, I'm going to put some more wooden battens up. I've got about three to put up and then I'm going to start insulating. I'm putting 50mm insulation in the roof um, because I want a little bit of play. I can always fill it with uh, plastic insulation if it's, if it's too loose but I'm going to put it on with stick pins anyway so it should be quite snug. So we'll, we'll get out there in a minute, I'll just finish my coffee and uh, I'll see you in the van. Yeah. Don't drink it all at once love. <laughs> You're seeing how much is in there. I don't know if you can see. Oh, for me, half nah, a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in the van. Yeah, please ignore the state of this van. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. I am an untidy worker, I will admit that. But, having said that, there's not much space you can work in, is there? And we haven't got a garage or anything, so. It is what it is. So anyway, these are the... Um, I'm just going to show you this. It talks about inside. That is what, These are the bolts that I bolted the Unistrut onto the roof with. So there's about eight down each side. There's another one there. There, and so on. So... I did suspect when I put them in that they might leak. Um, obviously because the water will find its way down the thread hole and uh, I was right. But the only two that leaked was this one and that one. Everything else seemed to be alright but just as a belt and braces exercise I did them all. So they've all been siliconed and hopefully that should cure that problem. Well chuffed with the uh, Max Air because there's been no leak whatsoever from that. And we've got a midi hecky coming shorter that's going in the back. But I need a full day of um, no rain for that. And at the moment they're forecasting rain. 
So I'm just going to stick a few more, as you can see I have put some wiring through various things um, and then I can start on the insulation. I had bought some insulation for the roof which is 50mm Celotex which I'll be putting in um, when I've got the rest of these buttons in. So the buttons that I'm using, I've probably mentioned this before but I'll just show you again. These are 19mm roofing buttons. 19 by 38. They fit nice and snugly on this uh, on this cross member. And um, I've already pre-drilled the holes and uh, put the screws in. So it's not much of a task. Uh, and they're, they're the self-drilling screws that I'm using, which are from Screwfix. Very good these. Well impressed. Oh, and I'll show you something else in a minute. Yeah, drywall self screws. Easy drive. Screw fix. This has come this morning. So this is a little. Oh, it's a 50. It's 50 mil, and it's an outdoor LED light which I'm going to put on the outside of the door. So we've got a little awning light because eventually we will get an awning. But yeah, I think that's quite cool. I haven't um, I haven't put it up on the van yet just to see if the angle's right, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be. I'll do that in a minute. Anyway, I'm going to cart on with um, getting these buttons up because I've got one, two, three. I've got another four buttons to put up, so I'll get them up out of the way and then I'll pick up with you after that. Saturday today, I've been doing quite a little bit of the first electrics. Um, I will show you when I get out there. It's no point videoing it all and showing you in detail. I can show you where things have gone and everything, but I think it's basically the same as everybody else's. I mean, if you if you go on any YouTube, sorry, sorry hang on. Oh, these are sticking in my pocket. A uh, little help is here. But not actually in the house at the moment, she's going to get her hair done. So that could be two, three, four, five hours, two days, a week. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how long it takes. Um, so I, I'm, I guess she'll be back later. So she'll be helping me and she's off all next week. So hopefully we'll get quite a bit done next week. But having said that, the weather is supposed to be terrible again. Showers, cold, 10, 11 degrees, it's ridiculous. But it is what it is, so we're going to have to get wrapped up and get out there and do it. It's not going to build itself. I put the uh, outside awning, side light, whatever you want to call it, on yesterday. Uh, and that was in between showers. I had to drill two small holes to, to hold the house into the, to the van. Uh, and another hole sort of in the centre bit behind it to, uh, to take the wire feed. But um, then again, it, uh, it, it was raining, I had to stop, start. I managed to get the three holes drilled, hammer-righted them, and didn't leave the hammer right on that long, actually, probably ten minutes, that's all. Stuck some silicone behind it and, uh, and put it on. But it doesn't look like it's leaked, and it has rained in the night. But either way, I think what I will do is stick a small silicon bead around the outside of it, um, and I'm pretty sure that'll, that'll stop any leak. So I also put, well I'll show you when we get out there, but I also put one side of the two 230 volt electrics in yesterday, one, the main one that goes to the boiler, and I'm going to have a, a double socket under the bench seat, and I will um, be having another couple of sockets in the kitchen area somewhere. So like I say, I've done some of the first electrics, but it's it's just a case of, and I have, but I haven't managed to cut any holes in the van. I've managed to sneak the cables through here and there, and I'm using the plastic conduit to 
to prevent it uh, rubbing against the, the sharp edges of the van. Um, obviously in some of them panels they, they do feel quite sharp. So I'll take you out, we'll have a look, see what I've done and see what I intend to do. But the van's a mess and I can't get stuff out because it's raining. Well it's not raining at the moment but I know that it will rain later on today. I, like I've got four rolls of um, insulation in there, I've got a big board, I want to do the headliner board, the Veltrim has come. Right, so we're out in the van, and this is what I said, look at it, it's such a mess. There's stuff everywhere, I'm trying to keep my tools all in one box, but obviously when you're looking for something, you're pulling something out, and oh, I mean that box is the corrugated plastic there, and um, yeah. First fix electrics. I've got all sorts of things hanging down here. So we've got um, the fan, the lights. I've got wires here going to the control panel. Switches for this, that, and the other. Um, and there's the mains cable that I put in yesterday. Can't see much of it really, but it um, because the boiler will be going somewhere around there. So I've run the mains cable all the way down the side of the van. So I want to try and keep the mains well away from the 12 volt because I think the power can sometimes jump if you have them running parallel. And I wouldn't like to blow up the 12 volt system. So if we come down to the back here, you can see everything's sort of either just coming straight down from there. I will tuck all these wires in and, and tidy it all up and we'll probably end up being in, in this corner here. Um, but we'll uh, we'll have to see. I've just put some plastic chunking in for for the mains for um, the uh, the main sockets, which we'll have in the kitchen area. But I've got all this all this insulation's taking up room, and this is part of the old floor, um, which I'm not throwing away. I'm going to use this for the headliner. So. Yeah, I can cut a piece out of that, it's absolutely fine, it's going to get covered in Veltrim, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, we've got another man's light switch there, so what I'm doing is I'm putting a switch on this side, and also a switch as you come in, so you can switch, sorry about the shaking camera, my hand. Um, so you can have a switch over there, as you come in the van and then we've also got a switch which will be over the bed so we can turn the lights off and on from there as well um, yeah uh, that's this one, we've got LED strip lights which yeah that one's gonna go over that window because there'll be a cupboard there and um, yeah that black one there is for the, the fan and the toilet flush and some lights in the bathroom when I get round to uh, finding out exactly where the shower tray is going to go. I've been under the van and had a look but it's quite near to a lot of cross members and things so I have to be very careful with that waste pipe. I think the sink one's fine because that's going to be somewhere around here. My grey water tank is going at the back of the step underneath the van. We've only opted for a 35 litre waste tank because in my mind it kind of makes sense. We've got a 70 litre fresh water tank then I know that if my wastewater tank's full, I've still got half my uh, half my freshwater tank. But I haven't done it for that. I mean, I'm getting gauges for them anyway, but it's, it gives you some indication, you know, if the gauges weren't working. So yeah, there you go. Uh, it's a part part of the first the electrics, but yeah, God, it's a big job. But I'm enjoying it. It'd be nice if the weather was warmer. It's just, it's freezing cold in here today. Oh, I'll show you the um, thing that I put on outside. That's that, you can just see it above the door there. Let's zoom in. There you go. Just pull the door back. And you can see it properly now. So. I'm a bit concerned with the angle of it because it's um, manufactured to fit on a side wall whereas the top of the van above the door is slightly on a bend so what I think will happen is sorry I'm just going to close this door, it's cold 
what I think will happen is the lights may shine outwards instead of downwards. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of plastic strip along the top of the, the light, if that's the case. And it'll just angle the light down. So it's not a big problem. It's not, it's not an issue. I want to get rid of this insulation. So I've got to finish this first fix electrics so I can get all the insulation into those cavities and free up a bit of space in the van 